Now we're going to consider the relative spatial relationships of atoms within the same molecule. This is called stereochemistry. And we're going to start by looking at the stereochemistry of alkanes. Here's a pretty simple alkane. It's ethane. Now, the way it's drawn here is called a sawhorse representation. We're kind of looking at the molecule from the side, but of course the molecule doesn't know whether it's the side or the end or whatever. These terms are to help us imagine the molecule more efficiently. Now, we're going to take an eye. Here's my eye. And we're going to take a look at the molecule from the right hand end. Sometimes it's so important that we show the direction we're viewing a molecule from that we actually draw an eye on the page. This tells the viewer our perspective. Let's redraw the ethane molecule as we would see it from the eye's view. It should look something like this. The red carbon is now towards us and the blue carbon is further away behind the red carbon. We can use our eye even more specifically to look down a carbon-carbon bond. To show this, we draw a dotted line from the eye to the carbon-carbon bond. But how do we depict what we would see? Well, we use a Newman projection. There's a dot in the center, and this represents the red carbon, or the atom of the bond that we're looking down that's nearest to us. Around this dot is a circle. This represents the blue carbon, or the atom of the bond that we're looking down that's further away from us. And then you have the substituents that are attached to these two atoms. In this case, the substituents are hydrogens. Let's consider the spatial relationship between these substituents. There is an angle between the hydrogens. It's called a dihedral angle. And what we see here is where the dihedral angle is 60 degrees. And when you have a dihedral angle of 60 degrees, this is called staggered. Now, the carbon-carbon single bond can rotate. Even if it rotates the smallest amount, you have a new conformation. These are called conformers or alternatively rotomers. Two conformers are conformational isomers of each other. It's impossible to isolate a single conformer. Even the smallest amount of energy is enough to rotate the carbon-carbon bond, creating a new conformer. But while we're thinking about it, how much should we rotate this theoretical ethane? Well, it might be interesting to rotate it by 60 degrees. Let's see what happens. Now, the dihedral angle is zero. And when you have a dihedral angle of zero, it's called eclipsed. An eclipsed molecule has extra torsional strain. And when you have two hydrogens, that will produce torsional strain of four kilojoules per mole. There are three such torsional strains in our ethane molecule that is eclipsed. If we think about the choice between a staggered ethane or an eclipsed ethane, it's mostly going to be the staggered form. The staggered form is more stable. In fact, it's 99% in the staggered form and only 1% in the eclipsed form.